Hello. Okay, I am going to start to do lives in here or on my main wall, you guys, to um, help with any of your questions. Um, I actually was going to try to tag. Let's see, where's Marlis? I know you have this one. Jen Click, I think you have this one. Um, anybody else who has palette five? I'm going with palette five today because it's so much fun. All the palettes are really fun, but they all give like really different looks. So this is palette five, you guys, if you don't have it. Um, from the outside looking in, it is intimidating, isn't it? I mean, these colors look very bright, right? They look pretty bright, but once you get them on your skin, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is actually one of my favorite palettes, and I don't know why I don't use it more often, because every time I do, or every time somebody is wearing it, I'm always like, oh my gosh, that palette, like, what are you wearing on your eyes? And they're like, oh, this is palette five. It is so much fun. Hi, Brenda. Um, so if you guys have any questions while I'm doing this, please ask, even if Brenda, if it's about the BB cream or whatever, I will just talk and do my thing with this palette. I'll clean it so it looks prettier. Um, this palette's gorgeous. And actually this color right here is called Suspicious. It is so pretty. So I'm just going to get going. Um, hopefully anybody who has palette five will jump in here. Um, I wonder if I can share this. To my, I don't know if I can because this is a private group, but I wanted to for sure have you guys catch this in here. Woo. Um, I have my ring light uh, placed differently. So if the lighting looks funny, will you guys tell me? I'm just trying to make it better. The sun's shining, so when there's direct sunlight, I have to put the shades down, and then I just have the ring light around here. So hopefully the lighting's okay. Um, I'm going to start by putting on the eye primer. Um, this is not a necessity, the, eye, the eyelid primer, but it helps. Um... It helps just keep that eyeshadow in place. You only use a tiny little bit. I do it from my lash line all the way up to my brow, and then I just use a leftover actually to go under my eye. And then as soon as I get this on, I actually take my translucent setting powder and just put a really light dusting of the translucent powder over the top because um, it takes a little bit of that tackiness away uh, without um, obviously defeating the purpose of this. But I just take a really puffy brush, shake it in my guy, in my translucent powder, so this isn't going to change the color at all. Um, and I just do a quick dusting over the top. So I already have on um mascara and a little bit of brown liner on the bottom because i was um at the kids of school this morning so i put a little bit of makeup on um i also put a tiny bit of brown eyeshadow on but i just wiped that off before i came so i'm gonna actually start with that one i was talking about this is like a it's almost like a rose gold color kind of a rose copper color uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. This color right here um, could be worn <clears throat> just by itself. So I love One Hit Wonder colors for eyeshadow. Makes it super simple. Makes it look like you um, I have one eyelash that wants to be right next to its neighbor. And it's driving me batty today. Um, I'm also wearing just the brown mascara today with the primer underneath. So let's jump into this color right here first. I'm going to use the deluxe brush, which is kind of the, a basic brush that can be used any part of your eyeshadow application. It's kind of fluffy, but not too fluffy. Um, the bristles are a little shorter, not super long. And I'm just going to swipe this starting in the middle 
out to the outer corner and up into the crease. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm a little bit blinded by this ring light right in front of my eyeballs, but if I just look past it, So center of my pupil pretty much out to the outer edge. Look how pretty that color is. And then up into my crease just a little bit, okay? So this is going to be a pretty simple look. So if you were to just take this color and swipe it all the way along your mobile lid and just wear this, it, the light reflects off of this because these are all like a, a shimmer or metallic the light reflects off of them so differently in different angles of light that you're, that it's just, that's why they work so well to just have uh, one color on your eyelid with any of these colors. Like you could just use any of these colors as one color on your eyelid without it looking overbearing because again, looking at this um, palette, it can be a little bit intimidating, okay? So now I'm actually gonna jump down to this little bit lighter color. So I usually go medium to light and then I go up into the little bit darker ones. That's like the medium light dark. That's how I kind of, um, that's the order that I usually put them on in. And I haven't really blended this one yet at all. Um, I'm going to take the same brush. I just kind of cleaned it off on my towel in front of me into Vindictive, which is this gold yellow looking one. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm kind of scrubbing it back and forth to just get it kind of packed into my brush and then tap off any extra and then this one I'm going to go into the center of my lid. Hi Kim! Happy birthday! It is Kim Nelson's birthday today. What are you doing today Kim? So that one's just going into the center and then up until it meets that first color I put on. Okay, so I just have those placed on there. Hi, Carrie. Now I'm going to grab my fluffy crease brush and this is where I'm gonna to start to blend. So I'm just gonna kind of blend these two together. I still want them to obviously look separate, but they just need to like meld into each other. So I kind of lightly brush over that crease where they meet and then just kind of windshield wiper up into my, my crease part. Oh, fun. Where at? Yes, I kind of do want to come to town. Do you have Emma with you? Or will you have Emma with you? What time are you going? I think think Todd has a few things he wants to do before the storm comes, but we could maybe make something work or I could just come. Okay. So see how that blended out really nicely. And now I just like, you could just leave it like that. You could just have those two colors like that. Those two, it was these two inner corner, outer corner, blend it up into your crease. And then a little bit above because I have hooded I have hooded eyes, so I want to be able to see it a little bit when my eyes are open. But now, coming into these guys, which are the really warm, sunsetty colors, um, in the camera, I don't know if you guys can see these two. This one's a little bit more orangey. This one's kind of pink. And then these two are more on the purple, fuchsia e purple and purple side, okay? I'm not getting... 30. Okay. Yeah, I'll see what, what we can do. Uh, I'll let you know. Um, actually, one more thing I'm going to do before I go back um, to these darker colors, because this is going to be super simple. Like, I'm not making this complicated at all, because I don't know how to do complicated eyeshadow. Um, I am going to go back into that Suspicious with my uh, crease brush. This is the this is the regular crease brush. This is the fluffy crease brush. And I'm just going to pull a little bit down onto my lower lash line. 
just to give a little bit more of a smoky look underneath there and I'm going to put it right on top of my brown um, eyeliner and that brings a little bit of that shimmer down under there too. So, like I said, you could just wear this, these two colors, let me add a little bit more of that yellow right there, and then blend together. So this gives you kind of a, a more neutral look with this palette. If you have any fallout, save that powder puff brush and flick it off your cheeks, okay? Um, so you could just leave it like this. Actually, I should take a screenshot of it so that I can see it or post it later. Maybe. Oh, I can't even swipe. Oh, well. Okay. Now. I'm going to warm it up a little bit and I'm going to go into, God, I can never decide. They're all so pretty up top here. Um, let's do the color sarcastic. We'll just go to this guy right here. This is a little bit more, um, this is a warmer pinky fuchsia than this one. This one's a little bit cooler and looks a little more purpley like that one. So we're going to go into this warmer one. And I'm going to grab my crease brush, the one I did, uh, this brown one, and pulled it under. I'm just going to take the same one. I just wiped it quick. You can leave some of that color on there. So this color Sarcastic, I'm just going to press it in. I'm not like, like swiping it all over my brush. I'm just... Actually, it's funny because my eyeshadows usually run out down by the name and then I have to like slowly go up to the top of it. Tap off the extra and I'm going to go right over the top of that brown, but I'm not going to pull it down too far. I'm just going to go into a half Pac-Man and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. The nice thing about these palettes, you guys, is that the color payout of them is so great that less is more, and you can always add more, but you don't feel like you're putting eyeshadow on and can't see a dang thing. You know, like, did I even put any eyeshadow on? I went through all that work and you can't even tell? Like, that, this stuff is not like that. It's so highly pigmented and fantastic. Okay, so I just pressed that on. Honestly, the key to eyeshadow and actually enjoying doing it and liking it when you're finished is the blending. Like, just get it on there. The color is going to stay where you put it mostly, but then you take a fluffier brush and you just blend it and meld it into the other colors. And you've got to look you, it, without a lot of effort. It's just placing the color and blending it out. See how pretty that is? And with that little bit of translucent powder underneath, over top of the primer, they, like I said, they don't like move all over the place, but they blend just fine. Okay, then I'm going to go back to the first brush I used, the deluxe brush, and I'm going to sweep this just so that my skin tone and the shadow meld together. And then I just kind of sweep it all around. Okay, I'm going to touch up my eyeliner just a wee bit. 
going right over the top. And I just like to do my eyeliner halfway because I don't have like the biggest eyes in the world. So if I go all the way to the, to the center, it kind of closes them up a little bit. Um, another fun thing with this palette is using this color eyeliner. Um, Precarious. It's called Precarious. It kind of matches. I'm going to sharpen it quick. It kind of matches this um, Vindictive color. I always like to warm it up. This isn't a pencil I use all the time. So I like to just kind of warm it, freshen it up, get it warmed up on my hand. Look at that pretty color. Can you see that? So it's almost the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line the inner corner here and here. So I'm kind of using it like an eyeliner, but I'm just brightening up that center part and the lower part, the center part and the lower part. Can you guys see how that just like brightened that right up? So this is actually a really, this is a fun eyeliner. You can do this, like what I just did on the inner corner with any eye look. Um, you'll probably, you see pictures all over, you know, um, Instagram and all that of these makeup looks and they have that like bright shimmer color on their inner eye. This color precarious is, um, right. I get them all mixed up. Yes. Precarious is, uh, it's, it's perfect for that because it's not white. It's not white shiny. Um, it's kind of like a gold fleck. So goldish, a goldish pencil that's got a little shimmer to it. So it blends really well with that color palette. Okay. And then I'm going, I'm, I'm having eyelash issues today. I am going to top this off with a little bit more mascara since I just did a quick coat this morning. If I can find my brown and really there it is. Just gonna do a little more brown and that's it hello hello girls oh nuts I'll show you how to get that off too Yes, you're right, Kim. That icy blue color. What's that one called? I can't remember. Um, polished. The silver one. You could totally do that with this one, too. So this is... The cap is silver, but it's... Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's a great one for this. That inner corner also. Top and bottom. Good call. Polished. See, you even knew the color of it. I can get those ones to unstick. So I wore my brown today. I love, I love our brown mascara. Um, because it's a, it's a dark brown. Um, but it's, it's a very soft, natural look. Um, and obviously going into the kids of school, I don't need to have intense makeup on. It's so, but I still feel like Fun, you know, like, oh, you got some nice, make, you know, mascara on and there. So, hi, Jen. Jen, you have palette five, right? I just did this look with palette five. And it's quick, simple, easy, doable. Just takes a little practice, my dear. And obviously I have to get that off. You want to make sure if you're not using the waterproof mascara, let that dry unless you have a Q-tip. If you have a Q-tip, then you can flick it off. I don't know if this is dry or not yet. 
Well, I'll show you what happens if you do it when it's not dry. <laughs> oh, it's pretty dry. So I'm just flicking it off with the back of my... Oh, it's still a little bit wet. Okay, Q-tip it is. Sometimes you just gotta grab the Q-tip. Little lick. Don't do this to someone else. Not hygienic, but you can do it on yourself. There. And it's gone. But if you let it dry all the way, that tip of your, um, any spoolie brush will take it off. So, yes, John, go watch this replay. I used, um, I used this guy, I used this guy, and I used this guy. And then if you want like a more smokier, you go with this one on that outer or outer corner. Um, this is my absolute, like, this is the base color of this whole palette. With that color being your first one you apply, even if you do it all the way in your, in your crease, all the way from, from center to the outer, outer part of your eye, you can build any look off this. Um, these ones are super, super pretty to just wear alone. Put them on your mobile lid, blend them up to your crease, then take another brush and bl and blend. And just blend, 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 blend. Get it placed, get it on there, and then blend it up to your brow bone. And then put some black eyeliner on and some black mascara. Oh my gosh, this is like stunning on any, 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 anybody's eye. So pretty. I still have that one eyelash that wants to be just hugging up on its neighbor. Oh, I don't know. Must have been how I slept on it or something. And that's it. So, super pretty. Fantastic shimmer colors. They blend super easily. After I'm done with my eyeshadow, um, I always give myself a little bit of a brow lift with my brow palette. This is actually, I'll just do it for you guys. This is actually one of my favoriteest things to do. And I tend to do it at the end of my makeup routine every time. This is like the last thing I do usually. I dip it into that matte pink. This is the Brow Artist brush. It is a necessity with this palette. <laughs> Have you done a video with those colors? Ah, oh, you know what? That's a really good question. Maybe long time ago. If I have, I will, I will, if I come across them, I can go look. If I come across one that I have done, Jen, I will send it to you. Oh, you've been liking purples these days. Okay, well then you're going to love. And you have like green blue eyes. Hazel, don't you? Yeah, hazily. Hazily green. Purples look amazing on green eyes. Because green and reddish purple complement each other. Those two colors. So it'll really make your green hazel. Like the hazel in your eyes, the green in your eyes. It'll really make it pop out. And then I'm dipping into the shimmer cream. So these are numbered. One, two. Those are, these are for your eyebrow colors. And then three and four. These are for under your eyebrows. So I grab three and four. And I pop them under my eyebrows. And it just gives me an eye lift. Do you see how much like uh, more definition I have to my eyebrow? after that and this is just these blend so easily into your skin it's awesome yeah Jen you're gonna love you're gonna love this palette especially if you've been loving the purples and you have those hazily eyes so it totally pulls out the purple it is so pretty actually now that I have this look well I should let me see if I can screenshot it again I don't know how to swipe your guys's comments aside so the, the comments will be there but 
Let's see if I can take a photo. Okay. Should I put some purple on right now? I'll just I'll just put some purple on right over this. Why not? Then you can see what it looks like on my mobile lid. Okay. Let's just do it. Okay, deluxe brush. Same one that I used on my mobile lid before. Let's just go into the dark purple. How about that? Now, obviously, this is going to look a little bit different because I have eyeshadow on underneath. But Okay, so I'm just I'm just I'm rubbing right here just to loosen the powder a little bit. Tap the extra off. And I'm just pressing. Hey, look, now I have yellow and purple. Yellow and or purple and gold. Vikings colors. <laughs> now with this darker of eyeshadow, I would definitely suggest going with um black eyeliner and black mascara cuz you want that drama you need to be able to see it cuz see it's a little you know it's darker it's deeper it's richer i mean you can only layer so many eyeshadows before you look absolutely ridiculous but this one so far is okay and you guys can see i'm getting a little fallout on my cheek because i've already used my primer for what it needed to be used for. <laughs> so see, these colors are not like that. Um, just take your powder puff brush and just whoosh, whoosh it away, okay? These colors are not that, they're not as like intense as they look. They go on beautifully and, and just not, not necessarily natural looking because they're not they're not natural colors. Purple is not a natural color, but so I'm just pressing it on. And the reason I'm pressing it on is because if you just take a loaded brush and swipe, you're going to swipe and it's all going to fall on your cheek. Like you, you want to get these intensive colors placed on your eyelid before you go and blend like press them in there okay then grab your blending brush blend it out whoa throwing my brushes everywhere see I think this uh, this eyeball has its limit they are intimidating Jen they are but honestly, once you do it, um, they're, they're not, they're not. It's, it's so deceiving looking at this palette for some reason. They have been since day one. I remember when palette five launched and we kind of all were like, what are we going to do with that? Well, now it's like a lot of everybody's favorite palettes. Because honestly, every time, like if Kim, if you're still watching, every time Kim wears this, I'm like, what eyeshadow are you wearing? And she's like, oh, this is that one sarcastic or victorious from palette five. And I'm like, oh, I love that color. And they're shimmery. They just give that glow right away easily. So you see how like black mascara with this would be really very, um, just very striking and super pretty. So that is it. Hi, Nikki. That is it. That is palette five. There's more looks. I will keep going with them. Um, I, they're, they're all simple looks that I do, you guys. I'm no, I'm no eyeshadow uh, pro by any means. But I can show you how to put them on, blend them in, make them look good, make you feel confident that you put some eyeshadow on and it feels pretty and fun. Okay. Have a great day, you guys. I got to go clean up like tons of produce that's still sitting out in the front of my garden. Thank God we got it out of the mud yesterday before the storm comes, but I got to go clean it up. And I'm guessing Tori will wake up soon and she'll come with me.
Okay, guys, thank you so much. I love you all. Let me know if you have questions, okay? I'll be back to uh, do the other palettes and all that good stuff. Um, hopefully cut like this weekend and this weekend. You're so welcome, Jen. I'm glad you jumped on. I think I tagged you in this video, right? So go back and watch that first application. So fun. And you could totally like alter that into those other colors. Just the same like um, placement of the colors. But pick the reds and purples and do it that way. Okay. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.